Uh, the Service River Basin Longbeards would like to sincerely yes, thank Reese across America for presenting again this year at our banquet. I think this is the fourth year they've done their uh, veterans presentation and it really means a lot to us personally and to our audience. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if I can have your attention, please, uh, up here at the front podium, we're going to get the program started. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for being here this evening. My name is Sean Simpai, I'm your MC for this evening. Uh, but uh, I'm just here tonight. We have long beard members that do a tremendous amount throughout the year. And uh, I want to introduce uh, here DJ Randolph, who is the president of the Service Basin Long Beard, uh, to uh, take us into our dinner program. If you'd please put your hands together to help me welcome him. Uh, that doesn't happen very often. Uh, it's my pleasure to ask Richard to come up here once again. If you all please remain quiet, let him get through his presentation. Then we'll do a Pledge of Allegiance, a veteran's drawing, and then it will be time for us to all have supper. So Richard, you come do your thing. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Richard Ryer, and at this time, for our evening before we begin, I would like to direct your attention to the POW MIA table to my left, as I begin to share with you what this table represents. This evening, I have one of our members of the Reach Across America, who will be assisting me in the placing of the elements on the table as I read on. Those of you who have served and those currently serving in the Uniformed Service of the United States wrote a blank check payable to the United States of America and are ever mindful that the sweetness and endurance peace has always been tainted by the bitterness of personal sacrifice. We are compelled to never forget that while we enjoy our daily pleasures, there are others who have endured and may still be enduring the agonies of pain, disposition, and imprisonment. We call your attention to this small table, which occupies a place of dignity and honor. It is set for one, symbolizing the fact that members of our armed forces are missing from our ranks. They are referred to as POWs, MIAs. We call them comrades. They are unable to be with their loved ones and families. So we join together to pay humble tribute to them and to bear witness to their continued absence. The table is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner, alone against his or her suppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolized, sim symbolic of purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call to arms. The single rose in the vase signifies the blood they may have shed in sacrifice to ensure the freedom of our beloved United States of America. This rose was reminded us of families and friends of our missing comrades who keep faith while waiting for their return. The red ribbon on the vase represents an unyielding determination for a proper accounting of our comrades who are not among us. The lemon on the plate reminds us of the bitter plate, faith. The salt sprinkled on the plate reminds us of the countless volunteers of families as they wait. The glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us at this time. The chair is empty. They are not here. The candle is a remnant of the light of hope, which lives our hearts to eliminate their way home away from their captors to the open arms of a grateful nation. The American flag reminds us that many of them may never return and have paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure our freedom. The Bible represents the strength gained through faith to sustain those lost from our country, founded as one nation under God. Added to this table is a square glass wall symbolizing a fallen hero's marker placed within a national, state, and local cemeteries, which provides the final resting place of our fallen heroes. 
at the top of the square glass block is an opening symbolizing the area of a veteran's marker where coins are left when visited by a person. While visiting some cemeteries, you may notice that on the headstones marking certain graves have coins on them left by previous visitors. These coins have a distinct meaning when left on the headstone of those who gave their life while serving in America's military. And these meanings vary depending on the denomination of the coin. A coin left on a headstone or at the grave site is meant as a message to the deceased soldier's family that someone else has visited the grave to pay respect. Leaving a penny at the grave means simply that you visited. A nickel indicates that you and the deceased trained at boot camp together. While a dime means you served with him in some capacity. And by leaving a quarter at the grave, you are telling the family that you were with the soldier when he was killed. According to tradition, the money left at the graves in national cemeteries and state veteran cemeteries is eventually collected and the funds are put to work maintaining the cemetery or paying burial costs for indignant veterans. And we are asking each of you to take part in this as well and the money you give will help give the gift of remembrance in sponsoring a wreath for the Reach Across America to ensure an American hero is honored by placing a live balsam uh, wreath on a veteran's grave on Saturday, December 17, 2022. This year's theme is Find a Way to Serve. Let us remember our fallen heroes, honor those who serve, and teach our children the value of freedom. Please stand with me in a moment of silence. And now, let us raise our glasses in toast to our brave men and women with heartful thanks for answering the call of duty and for selflessly and bravely serving our nation, knowing that we will never forget their sacrifices. For they have endured, for they have endured us, our family, and every American, our many freedoms. For they are our true heroes. Thank you for your service and welcome home. You may be seated. At this time, I have a special award to present to the Source River Grayson Long Years. Uh, last year, the team was entitled Live Up to Their Legacy. So in keeping with that theme, we've asked certain businesses and churches and schools and uh, places like that, organizations, uh, to sponsor a, a wreath. And uh, last year, uh, the Soros River Basin Long Years raised $280, which uh, sponsored 17 wreaths. And so I have a certificate here to present to them, a certificate of, of adoption for 17 uh, veterans. And also, uh, we put together a list of veterans who have been uh, chosen out of the Rose Hill Cemetery for their names will be put on our Reese Across America uh, Wall of Honor. So I would like uh, the person who is receiving this to come up and...
Richard, don't go anywhere. Can I ask that everyone please stand, and Richard is going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, now I'm going to ask that all uh, active military, veterans, and first responders remain standing.